Maybe I didn't run you Quite as slowly as I should have And maybe I didn't treat you Quite as gentle as I could have yeah, you don't want to watch me sing to this still. We're going to have some fun today. Stay tuned and see what we've got in store. Okay, I'll make you a promise. You keep watching, and I'll stop singing. The, today's going to be one of those interesting ones. I just kind of like had nothing else to do. I'm still waiting on parts and pieces and stuff. And often I get comments or questions, emails, phone, uh, in, in many different forms. And, um, wow, I mean, there, there's a lot of them. Now, and I'm, of course, and unfortunately, I can't do all of them, and you understand that. So if you send in a comment and it says, hey, have you ever thought about, trust me, I've probably thought about it, but I just ain't done it. <laughs> um, I've thought about a lot of things. Um, and then sometimes they'll send in, you know, hey, George, why don't you try this? Well, I, I am fairly busy, but I'll try some things, but I can't try all of them. Now, one that keeps coming up, and it's one that I've actually thought about for a while, too, and I want to share this with you. Um, is it practical? Uh, probably not. I don't know. But what about spaghetti or macaroni or some noodles or something like that? Well, we're going to give it a try. Yeah. We all know that when you, when you boil all that, you, know, you got all that starch and stuff, just like with potatoes. Um, and can you convert that to fermentable sugars? And so can you actually make a spirit out of... A noodle. I theorize that you can, but we're going to find out because I'm going to do it today. Just, just so this one's just for fun and just to share with you, okay? So let's sit back. Let's get all our stuff together, and I'm going to describe this to you, and then we're going to do it. Oh, dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. Well, we're going to answer the question today. Now, before, right before we get to that, I just again, I want to show you this. I've showed this a bunch of different times on a bunch of different videos, but you just can't seem to say it enough. Excellent book called Moonshine by Matthew B. Rowley. These things run probably 11 to 13 bucks on Amazon. Just order one. Uh, it's full of great information and it's written probably the way I would write a book. It, there's a story behind it. There's some a little bit of laughter in it, uh, but there's a lot of great information. Um, I just hope to do as well when I write my own. Yep, I'm gonna give it a shot, but it's gonna take me a long time. Bear with us. Hey, um, we're going to answer the question about noodles. Now, before we get there, please, you're going to, you're going to want to do it, okay? I'm going to use just regular old small or medium-sized macaroni, okay? <laughs> and someone's going to write in. They're going to say, hey, well, well can you do manicotti? Can you do cavallini, cavallini tortellini, um, cavatelli? Uh, um, oh, 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 lasagna noodles, can you use spaghetti noodles, can you use this type of, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to give you the results for what I'm going to do, because I'm not doing all them noodles. If you want to do them, do them the same way, give it a test. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort, uh, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time, but you'll figure it out. If, hey, guess what? Share it with us. Comment below and let us know how it worked out. If you find that perfect noodle that just does it great, let us know. All right? All right, here we go. To get us started, here's what we want to do. Yep, we want to answer huh, the question. And what are we looking for? Those of you who have seen a bunch of these videos know, kind of know, but if not, uh, we want to know G, gravity, points per gallon per pound. All right, and that'll tell us, I mean, see, that, that way we can figure out how much we need and what our expectations are. I mean, we'll know all of that. Look, I'm talking about gravity points. I know a lot of this is a repeat and review, but you have to do this because not everybody's followed every one of the videos all the way through. Hydrometer, okay, and this is not a proof and trail hydrometer, so beer wine hydrometer, but it measures, the, it's, the, it's buoyancy, but it measures the gravity of a sugar-fied mixture, <laughs> okay? So when you add sugar to it, it, the buoyancy changes. And on the side of the scale, of course, you've got, and when I say gravity points, the difference between the scale goes 
1.000 is water, that's the data point, and 1.010 is 10 gravity points. Okay? 1.090 is 90 gravity points. So a lot of times they'll just say I get 1090 or 1010. Uh, it, people use shortcuts. But that's what we're looking for. We want to know how many of these we get per pound per gallon. Right. So far, so good. Um, it, again, be careful. These things will roll right off the table and break, especially if you've only got one. I have several, but I've still got several. Once you get more than one, they won't roll off the table anymore I, for some reason. I have a half a gallon of water because I borrowed, I snuck in and borrowed my wife's pot because it's magnetic and it works on this new wave induction cooker. Um, and I'm going to bring this up to a boil, and I have a half a pound of the macaroni. Now, I, I'm using a half a gallon and a half a pound because the, these measurements are proportional or uh, linear. Um, and what I want to do, I don't have enough room in here for a whole gallon, so I got a half a gallon in here, and I don't want it to boil over. But you know what pasta will do? Pasta will boil over if you let it. Uh, and I'm going to put these in here, get this hot, and I'm going to boil the bejesus out of them. Because what happens when you boil the bejesus out of uh, uh, pasta? Yeah, it turns out uh, mushy. I, I want it to be mushy. I don't, I don't want there to be any texture left. I'm not going to eat it. I'm gonna, I want to get as much of that texture out of it as I possibly can. Um, so, and I'm going to find out once I cool it. Uh, we're going to take, we're going to do the starch test, and then we're going to see if we can convert that to fermentable sugars. And then we're going to take, you know, figure out what, how many pounds of this per gallon in here. If we did that, we just oh, we're going to take our results and just double it. So we'll know how many pound gravity points per pound per gallon uh, we can get out of pastas. I got that puppy turned up to super high. I'll let you know when it gets hot. Wow, now that didn't take long. Oh, I got me a good rolling boil. All right, here it goes. I'll put that in there. I got to find something. That's there it is. And give it a stir. And now I'm going to turn this new wave down because I don't want a rolling boil. I just want a regular boil. So let me go down to medium and see what that does. It just keeps it boiling. Now, now here's a tip. Here's a tip for you. This is one of George's tips. If you're going to make, I do this all the time. If you're going to make spaghetti, macaroni, and mo most of your pasta noodles, that's just a cooking tip. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you get your water boiling. You add all of your your pasta, you stir it, you know, put, and Grandma used to do this, put like a, oh, about an ounce of oil in there. It tends to break the surface tension. Okay. You turn the heat off, and then you place the lid back on it. And it'll stay hot enough to cook all of that pasta, and it's like, it takes 16 minutes. And after 16, you know, set the timer after 16 minutes, pull your noodle out and try it, it's done. Guess what? Nothing ever sticks to the pot. Nothing. It, it, it'll, it'll all just fall right out. Um, and I do that because if you leave the heat on, what happens? It, you get noodles that stick to the pot. They get they cook to the bottom. All right. It's another another thing all in itself. That's just my tip for today. I'm going to let this thing cook. Now, I've overcooked these noodles. Oh, oh. You'd be mad if you were coming to the house now for some macaroni. Uh, and you know what happens when you overcook the noodles? They just get like real floppy and sloppy and you know, you hit them and these, they start to break apart. Now I know somebody's gonna say, George, what about just crushing them all up, use a potato? Listen, remember, I've gotta separate this. Okay, so if I mash all this up and make a mash, it's gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time straining that. Uh, but we're just gonna get some initial data. Okay, now we did this with cornflakes, if you remember. Uh, with some pretty good results. So let's find out what we've got here. Um, I'm just looking for the starch content. I've pulled a little bit out. Let me get some iodine. All right, here's our test. I haven't done this yet.
Okay, well, it does turn black, and it just sits in there, so there is some starch in there. It's, there's not a whole lot, it doesn't look like, and if I shake it a little bit, it does, see, it does separate, so it's black. Um, so we've got starches. That's clear, but are we able to convert those into fermentable sugars, and if we do, is it practical? Um, well, we'll try to find that out, too. So, I guess what the time has come now for me to turn this off, uh, and I've just got to let that cool, because remember, we've got to get down to 155 degrees. Now, I'm going to use, because I don't want to introduce any other sugars into this, I'm going to use just straight amylase, uh, an amylase powder, uh, to convert the starches to fermentable sugars. Uh, if I used a grain, uh, the grain has some sugars resident, and that would just throw off our values. So, I'm going to... Wait for this to cool. Time's up. I've, I, I added that to save you the trouble of watching this. I, I added the amylase. I let this thing sit in here for like almost two hours. I guess I was watching a movie. And so let me give it a mix. And now I'm going to do the first test. And I do this a, a lot of times even with a mash. Is do the taste test. Um, and see. I can taste a little sweetness. Ever so slight, but it's there. I can taste sweetness. So, um, my first guess is that it's worked. So, let's find out how well it worked and before we get to a measurement. That, let me get some iodine, and I'll bring it up to the camera, and we all get to watch this. Here we go. And we drop a drop in, give it a little shake, and it does dissipate. Ah, you see, that's a little tiny bit. No, there it is. It's gone. And it does dissipate. So we, as a matter of fact, completely. Whew. So that tells us that whatever starches were in there, we have converted. Um, now, I'm sure that there are still probably some of those stubborn ones left but I'm okay with that now the next step is I'm going to take a strainer and I'm going to strain out the noodles and have just the liquid and I'll put that in a a, a, a test jar and then we'll drop a hydrometer in there and we'll find out what the gravity points are and remember we've got now one gallon of water because I did I had enough room after those noodles soaked up all that and, and softened up I had enough room, I added the other half a gallon, so I got a gallon of water and a half a gallon of noodles. So at the very end, we'll just double whatever that gravity is, and that means that that's how many gravity points per pound per gallon we would have. Mm. Please don't get, don't get your head wrapped around that too tight. The moment of truth. Here it goes. Um, I've got this cooled down. I put it in a quart, I put a little bit of it in a quart jar, just put it in the freezer. And I've got it cooled down to 70 degrees. So I'm um, 10 degrees above my calibration temperature because this is calibrated at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> so we'll make a real quick adjustment here in just a second. Here we go. Give it a spin and let it float. Let's see what it does. Uh oh, whoa. And I'm sure you can see that from there, uh, probably not as close as I can. Uh, I'm measuring 1.012. 1.012, and that would be at 70 degrees. 1.014. We are at 1.014 gravity points on our hydrometer. So we get 14 gravity points for a half a pound. <laughs> of course, remember times two because we're going to do this for one pound per gallon. We got a gallon of water and a half a pound of noodles. Now we're going to go one pound of noodles and a gallon of water, excuse me. So here's our answer, 1.028. Huh. That's pretty good. Think about it. So I guess let's, it begs the question. Can you 
convert starch out of pasta to fermentable sugars? And the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, can you ferment that? Well, it's fermentable sugar, so yes. Uh, I guess it begs the question, why would you? But for those inquiring minds that just want to know, yes, you can. So we have gone through the whole test. That's it. Bam, you're there. So again, one gallon of water, half a pound, or matter of fact, this, this makes it equal. It's an equivalent now. One gallon of water with one pound of pasta, cook the bejesus out of it, convert the starches to fermentable sugars at the right temperature, and you can use that, and then you can boost it with some sugar. You can do anything you want to with it, but yeah, so pasta works. Don't know about manicotti. Don't know about tortellini, uh, and I'm not going to know unless you do it. Happy distilling.